Tom Clancy's The Division has been a huge success for Ubisoft. It's the biggest new IP launch in history, spent four weeks in the UK's charts as the top-selling game, and even bested an 11-year record set by Gran Turismo 4, and much more. There are still improvements that could be made to this inherently loot-based shooter though, and what better ways to improve than to look at the best loot-based games in the genre? Diablo 3 – Greater Rifts Diablo 3 – Greater Rifts Greater Rifts and Diablo 3 are randomly generated tile sets with random enemies, both named and mobs, that offer a variety of reasons to play. Do you want higher level legendary items, which can confer a variety of benefits? Do you want gear set pieces, which are required for the higher level Greater Rifts? The basic incentive is to get you to play the game more, but it all feeds into making the player feel more powerful. A randomized area with increasing tiers of difficulty that can feed that itch in the division, rather than an emphasis on resource gathering and crafting for the end game, would be ideal. That's especially when you consider the amount of progression that can be made in the process. Path of Exile – Character Customization If you ever want an example of a class builder with depth, then Path of Exile is your go-to game. With the huge skill tree, the game allows you to build your character to fit your class as you see fit. Even more interesting is the ability to slot gems into specific junctions within that skill tree to give benefits to different skills. Not only does it offer an incentive to keep leveling up, aside from the game's large level cap, but it results in even more diverse builds in the process. The Division already has something similar with mods for its skills, but that's limited to two basic abilities. Being able to diversify this to add talents would add further variety to the mix. Switching between gear configurations. This is just for convenience sake, but we love to switch between gear configurations on the fly in the division. And we're not just talking about armor pieces and weapons. We like to configure an entire loadout of sorts with specific talents and skills that can be switched out in the heat of battle. The current interface doesn't really allow for quick switching, but in general, it's just annoying to have to change your configuration when moving back and forth between challenging mode and the dark zone. Destiny, monthly events. Destiny holds monthly events to appease players between lulls and content, and they do offer a variety of things to do. Sparrow Racing League, Crimson Days, Festival of the Lost, Iron Banner. Love them or hate them, there is some variety being added to the base game and its PvP. It would be nice to have different monthly events and even true PvP modes in the Division every now and then. Ubisoft Massive has already confirmed special events for the Division, and we're yet to see them a month after release. This isn't to say they aren't coming, but with the Falcon Lost incursion due on April 12th, along with weekly assignments and supply drops, we're not exactly sure they're coming this month either. Borderlands 2 and Diablo 3 – Friendship Items Though various skills can be stacked in the Division offering different boosts, we're yet to see anything akin to Borderlands 2 or Diablo 3 wherein different friendship items can be equipped. These friendship items essentially offer increased buffs if two or more members of the team have them equipped. In Borderlands 2, this results in decreased revive times when an ally goes down. In Diablo 3, this means a stream of continuous lightning that hits enemies if two friends have a particular piece of gear equipped. Why not have this as a weapon or gear perk in the division? It wouldn't be the most undesirable thing in the world. Diablo 3 – Better Crafting Update 1.1 for the division will introduce a ton of different features, but it will also nerf crafting, requiring more materials for creating high-end weapons. Though Ubisoft Massive has promised an update on the same, and that fans only have half the story at this point, it can still look to Diablo 3 on how to effectively handle crafting. Materials from daily assignments appear given for the Division, since it's receiving the same on April 12th, but there should be a guaranteed amount of materials from activities. Heck, why not replace the leveling bar with a materials bar, earning a large amount of materials every time it's full of XP? However Massive decides to approach this issue, it would still be better than the material nerfs that are coming. What features from other loot-based games do you think The Division needs? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time.